Yo, and welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like and subscribe and try and hit that 100 sub eventually. Hopefully before my anniversary in April. But anyways, back to some tomfoolery of love. We have, we met two random 10 year old girls, I'm assuming. In the middle of the night, they thought it was a great idea to go under the cover of the cold night to sneak. What, what were they doing? Um... What was it? Is it called package? Buggage? Bundle? To sneak items into another town to avoid bandits in the daytime. Because they heard, quote unquote, that bandits wouldn't come out at night, especially if it's cold. Which you should always expect the unexpected. And as you as I just say, bandits came up. Oh, what, 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 what? Snuck up on them, and I had to come in and help them. And after that, the band was like, "You won't get away with this." Summon more bandits. All for oh yeah, they're bringing granola. And then this mysterious, handsome fighter, and his somewhat attractive sidekick came in and helped them. We got that done. Then everyone started crying for some reason again. I met up with the girls, the 10 year olds, and she fell in love. And now she wants me to get dirt on Keen, her, the love of her life. Or so she says. Yeah. Also, why can't I attack this? Oh, it's good. What? It gets skill training now? Is that, has that always been the thing? Can I just spam this? That is cool. I did not know that. You can't see how strong they are. So how does it give the XP? Is this just for weak enemies or normal enemies? Is that how it is? No, no it doesn't work for Chainblade. Oh. Here I come. Mina charged towards Keen, her hair flowing behind her. Hmm. With a shout, Keen twists out of Mina's way. Mina stumbles past him, crashing into the ground. Ow, I thought I had you this time. Really, what's your secret? You're not holding out on me, are you? Keen helps Mina to her feet and dusts the dirt off her dress. Or maybe this is some elaborate training exercise to make me realize that all it takes to be a fighter is practice, practice, practice. I think you might be quite the instructor. Mina glares at Keen. Talk to Keen. Keen smiles enthusiastically and waves at you. Keen is happy to see you, at least. Does he does he not talk? Can he talk for himself? Weren't you there when we fought Herbert's bandit? You were actually pretty good. But what brings you here? I mean, you're welcome here, of course. But Keen and I are busy training, and I'm busy preparing for his birthday party. Look, I'm a terrible reader, so don't expect much. I'm sure it doesn't seem like much to you, but Keen's birthday is the only day he gets to take a break from fending off bandits. It'd be nice if he could just rest and eat his favorite food if it's just for one day. Mina smiles warmly and ruffles Keen's hair. I'm, the way he's treating her, him, it's kind of like his mom or older sister, kind of like a guardian in a way. What food does Keen like? Uh, why do you ask? Keen, who has been listening in silence the whole time, tugs on Mina's sleeves. What is it? Keen leans close to Mina's whisper. Oh, and whisper something to her. Maybe you say so, Keen. It's your birthday, after all. Arceus, do you remember the two girls we saved from the bandit? I think their names were Cecilia and Yisolt. You sold. I, I swear, there's someone in Yu-Gi-Oh whose name is like that. Oh, uh, I believe it's... The Noble Knight cards, and it's a, it's not an Xseed. It's a, what are the blue cards called again? I haven't played in quite a while. Link up? Link, oh, it's a Link monster. No, is it an Xseed? Yo, I haven't played in quite a while. I might do another Let's Play on it. Keen feels bad because he couldn't make sure they were okay after the fight. If they were free, he'd like to invite them to his party. There's no pressure, of course, and they don't have to bring anything but themselves. 
there isn't much time so take these wings of goddess you can just use it to come back to tear canal after you have their answer king grabs your hands and shake it excitedly well we'll be waiting we'll hold off on the celebration until they arrive even if you're late so please do come wow isn't she nice compared to another biscuit um it was blue right yeah I just... Fudge! I just used that without reading? Curses! I was under the assumption he'll take me to the girls. Not back here. I barely saw that the last second when I clicked it. Oh, my potato. I'm so dumb. I'm. This is why you guys shouldn't expect the expected from me. You should always expect the unexpected because I will derp up. All right, I'm gonna cut to when I get there. You still haven't left. Don't stand so close to me. I really don't like you. But I feel like she will have a hard interior, exterior, but soft in ex. No, hard exterior, soft interior. Maybe she's just putting on the hard front. What took you so long? Welcome back. Did you find out why I asked? I hope he's, he's okay. Did you run into his girlfriend? Come on and say something. Cecilia uh, frantically circles you as she talks. Too quick for you to get word in edgewise. Talk about King's birthday. King's birthday's tomorrow? You should have said so right away. What am I going to do? I need to get him a gift and something pretty to wear. You so uh, clears her throat. Why are you so obsessed with a bum like him? Let me not worry about the birthday preparation. We can just enjoy some free food. That's enough. I know you don't like Kane very much, but he still saved us from bandits. We owe him our lives. True, but you also you guys also fudged it up by deciding not to hire any guards or tell anyone. And that's and get their opinion on it. I feel like most people say that is a terrible idea. I know there isn't much time, but the least we could do is get him a gift. I didn't think you were such a cold person. I thought you at least had some sympathy in you. Oh, oh, you, Cecilia, I really. What did Keen ever do to you to deserve such hatred? What? She's just saying. Oh. I feel like. I know it might. It's love of. Love of first sight. But I feel like you're getting like. What's the word? Speeding it up too fast? Or getting or jumping to the expect? No. I don't know. Whatever I'm trying to say is that she's like doing too much and assuming so much when he she just met him. I know, it was a traumatic experience and that's can be a catalyst for her to fall in love with him. Like a superhero saving a damsel in distress. Pretty much. But you saw it's like you shouldn't like just jump and just love him like like that right right. You should probably get to know him a bit first before committing yourself to it. I'm bad at expressing what I'm trying to say. Cecilia, this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. I am probably you guys just saw me use a tear feather while I was in tear. I'm like the dumbest person out there and with the memory of a goldfish. Cecilia crosses her arms and pouts. C Cecilia, you so uh, size. That's not it. I was just worried. I mean, we really don't know anything about this king guy. Thank you. You salt. I'm. How can you fall in love with him so fast? Exactly. For all we know, he's just like the bandit. Cecilia grabs you salt's hand. I'm sorry, you salt. I didn't mean to lash out at you like that. You're right. We just we don't know anything about King. Oh no, what if he is a dangerous person? Uh, I mean, from what I've seen of him, I, I highly doubt it. Seems like he can't do anything without Mina. Cecilia looks like she's on the verge of tears. What do you think, Ursula? Is you salt right? Do you think King might be dangerous? Why do you gotta give me bad options like this? Yes, you salt is right, but as in he's a dangerous person? Probably not, but 
You can check. He looks harmless. He looks dangerous. Okay, so I'm assuming this is just asking if he's dangerous and not that she should probably get to know him better. I knew it. You saw it was worth for nothing. Yeah, you might be right. I mean, King did save us. I don't think I was very fair just now. You are. It's just... What's the what, what's the other word? I gotta look this word up. Yes, the word I was thinking of, it's not mutually exclusive that he can't be a dangerous person while also you should probably get to know him better. Like, where is my option for that? I guess it's okay if we get him a gift. He did save us after all. I mean, that's fine. And maybe getting to know him better will snap you out of it. That's good too. You're better than him. He's way too smelly for you. You so giggles and pinches Cecilia's cheek. By the way, Ursula, if I need a favor, we have to get King a birthday present, but we have no idea what to get him. I have an idea, you know, Mina? I think she and King are old friends. Oh. You might know what King... She might know what King likes. Go find her and see what King would like. Please hurry, there's not much time left. Time left. Yes, please help her, sir. So I don't really trust this Mina person. Again, with this girl. Why she keep... I'm guessing there's some biscuit energy vibe she's giving off right now. My nose is so stuffy. But she should at least know what King likes. You should find out from her, can't you? So see her crosses her arms over her heart and bats her eyelashes. Sure, I'm going to have to anyways. Thank you. Mina's in Tear Canal, right? Hurry up and get going. Hold on. You don't have to go all the way to Tear Canal just to see me. Damn. Did she, I mean, curses. Did she hear that? You hear the joyful clacking of Mina's boots. You're so into Celia and Ursula, right? So just... Mina holds out her hand. Shakes her hand. I get a pretty good look at you earlier. You really know how to fight. Maybe I should train under you instead. No, maybe you should train me and teach me how to use fighter skills. You feel warm from Mina's hand. I mean, yeah. She gently pushes your hand aside and offers hers to Cecilia. What do you want from us? <laughs> Damn, why are you so aggressive? We don't need your help. Okay, so Cecilia's really not really giving off biscuit energy. Cecilia so slaps Mina's hand away. I'm sorry, are you afraid of stranger little girl? Kurt. What was my cheat sheet for the D word? Potato. Anyways, I'm here for a reason. You plan to come to the party, right, Cecilia? I want you to bring some grilled marlin. You so should bring pork uh, flank steak. Sheena is your cousin, isn't she, Cecilia? She helped you with the cooking. Ursula, can you gather the ingredients? Why should we listen to you? I really don't like this little girl. You don't have to if you don't want to. King's favorite dish just happens to be grilled marlin. But I guess he'll have to be happy with my grilled mushroom and you, you soul's pork steak. See, I thought you wanted to impress Keen, but if you're not interested, oh, she knows. I, I don't care. I don't have to prove anything to him. You saw cheeks turn a tomato red. Oh, she is a Sundere. It's Keen's party, and Mina knows what he wants. I'll make the fish. I knew you understand. Okay, Ursula, I ran down all that I need here. Deliver the ingredients to Cecilia <laughs> and you so you so then get my ingredients to me in Tear Canal. As you all know, there isn't much time left into the birthday party. I have other preparation to see too. Cecilia so saying stares blankly after Mina as she leaves. Ah, Ursula, if you're back, hee <laughs> hee. I really don't like you. She's a cutthroat biscuit. Cecilia lets, lets out a charming laugh as she approaches and throws her arms around yours. That voice crack. I'll always call it out no matter what. I'm so lucky to have someone as wonderful as you around to help. I'm so thankful for you. Do you know that? 
No. Sincere lets out a deep sigh. You think of me as a child, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Your actions up to now, up until now have shown me you are. That you also give off biscuit energy. You think I don't know anything? Yes. She looks up at you through tear eyes and her grips tightens on your arms. Are, are you trying to guilt trip me again, ma'am? I'm sorry. Your feelings are perfectly natural. I didn't get to thank you properly after that last incident. I don't need your thanks. Sorry about that. I was too busy thinking about Keen that I completely forgot everyone else. I know. I've been treating you and you so pretty badly. Yes. And Mina. I mean, she did nothing wrong. She even helped you by giving, telling you what Keen likes. You know my cousin Sheena at the restaurant, right? Yes, I mentioned Keen to her while we were getting ready for the party, and Sheena seems worried about me. I would too. I guess she's worried that I'm falling for someone so fast. That's what I was trying to say last time. <sighs> I really know before I really know anything about him, but even now I can't get that mop of a hair of his out of my mind. Maybe she's right. I'm scaring myself a little. How strongly I feel about him. Cecilia shoots you a doubtful gaze. What do you think? Shall I continue pursuing King? Just be careful. Cecilia eyes attempt to hide her disappointment. I didn't say no. I just said be careful. That's like the middle ground of the of the two. It could have been yes or no. I thought. Well, I thought you were under. What? What's with this story and these options? I've been thinking about it a lot. Why I like Keen so much, even though I just said be careful. I didn't say no, don't pursue him. I just said be conscious. <sighs> Where is she? Like 10? She doesn't even know much about love or anything about life. I mean, for all I know, she could be like 34 or 50 or something. Why your why is your face like that, Fraser? Cecilia's head leans softly against your shoulder. Um, are you guilt tripping me? I mean, we're, are we having a moment? I don't even know you. I barely met you one night and now I'm stuck. Now you guys pull me into your troubling situation. You see Gordon's restaurant over there? Yes. That used to be my dad's place. I spent a lot of time sitting next to that street lamp as a kid, pounding my feet in the water. Mom used to get so mad at me for doing that. She always thought I was going to fall in. But dad used to tease her about it. He said, I can always drag her out with a net if she falls in. And Miss rolls over her eyes. Can't believe how long it's been. I almost don't remember those days. I was going to say, did it happen? It's like they were somebody else's memory. From everything Gordon told me, dad had a really hard time running that restaurant. The chilly gusts from the water were too much for him. He loved that restaurant almost as much as me, but his tuberculosis took away his chance to keep it. Gordon bought it from him at a fair price. It's funny, every time I think of father now, I can only see him in his bed. He looked ashamed and embarrassed. He hated that my mother had to work to support us. I remember he would go out to work, but ours made his coughing worse. He come home and just collapsed, bedridden for days on end. Cecilia's voice drops to a pain whisper. At first, it was just when he strained himself, but the coughing just got worse. So see her pause to wipe the tears from her eyes. No one ever tells you <coughs> what a disease really looked like. It was just bones and skin at the end. His chest was small. His voice sounded so hollow. Even then, Dad never spared a breath to tell me he loved me. His eyes always said so much more, but I know he didn't have the strength to speak it. Maybe that's why I'm always drawn to strong men. I even fancy Gordon for a time. Uh, that, that could be it. The way he carried around those iron dishes without the slightest effort. I remember telling Sheena about she was mad at me for a week, hee hee. Cecilia tears have faded into a faint smile as she wipes him away. How did I even start talking about that? I'm so I'm sorry for rambling. I always seem to pour my heart out to you. Yes, to a complete stranger you don't even know that well. Unless we did meet. I mean, except for that one time for the bandit. Do you do not even mention it? Really? Hee <laughs> hee. You really? I mean, seriously, don't even mention it. Don't even thank me. Just say what you have to say and then I'll just move on. I know I'm a terrible person. You really are good to me. Eh. A radiant smile dimples uh, Cecilia's cheeks as she gives you a warm hug. 
I need silk, striped marlin, olive oil, salt, pepper, and butter to whip up this pepper grill uh, silk striped marlin. But Mina couldn't get her hands on the silk striped marlin. It's not like I can use just any... Uh, oh, come on. Any ordinary silk striped marlin. This is for Kane, after all. I want to use the freshest marlin I can get. Sheena says that there's a guy named Kadok at Port Co. He's supposed to sell the freshest marlin in all of Uda. It might be a little expensive, but at least it's easy. Um, is my timer still going? Yes. All you have to do is just go to Port Cain and buy Silk Stripe Marlin from Cutout. If you take care of this, I won't ask for any more favors. Thank you. I'll I'll hold your word to it. Here, use this money to buy Silk Stripe Marlin. Let me know if it's not enough. I can always borrow more from Gordon. So see, it gives you a small gold pouch. All right. Hey, yo, I'm here for some fish. He is an extremely tall man. Huge muscle press on his vein against his tights. Tan skin. He looks much too strong to handle something aesthetic as fish. Oh, I mean, I wasn't checking his cake or anything. Welcome. There's sure. What the hell? Why is he has some bandit music? There sure are a lot of Malaysians around lately. You looking for something? Silk Strike Marlin. Silk Strike Marlin? I have some, but the hall has been on slim side lately. I don't know why. Some of the fellas say the ocean's getting too warm for them. Some of them say it's getting too cool. Heck, I even heard some guy blaming man na 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 for the decrease in fish. Who the hell? I mean, who the heffle? Kado scratches his head with uh, thick hands. Doesn't really matter what the cost is, does it? It's driving the price up. A good size strike mana goes for 20 gold. Bye. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to take your time and cook it, right? See me again, again. <laughs> See me again if you need some fish. Kadok hands you a fresh dry marlin with one gigantic arm. All right. Uh, I have 20 seconds left. I'll probably call it a video. But anyways, uh, we have some more shenanigans. Cecilia acting like a biscuit, throwing tantrum, getting mad at Mina for like, like getting all hus uh, hus hostility, aggressive, hostile against Mina. And you saw for them just sharing their opinion and just telling her what she needs to know. I really don't like that little girl. But maybe at the end of the story, I could like her. And she's getting all touchy feely with us for some reason. I barely even know you. Like, I'm just saying. But we'll see what happens next episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you later.